War Diary Day 530 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Uh, last night the Russians uh, slammed a rocket into yet another restaurant where ordinary people, journalists, aid workers, some soldiers hang out and um, five or so people were killed. The war grinds on. Um, the simple story is that it looks as though the Americans are afraid of an um, early Ukrainian victory because they don't want to see Russian chaos. So what they're doing is they're deliberately slow walking uh, the military aid that the Ukrainians need to finish off the Russian killing machine. In particular, they needed F-16s a long time ago. Without military superiority, they cannot move forward fast. And so what they're having to do is to take land tree line by tree line um, this is desperately slow and they're bleeding however i do believe that they're going to win and i do believe that uh, china is watching at the same time one looks at what's happening in the united states and the continuing high poll numbers of the traitor donald trump and one looks at that with unease i actually think that joe biden is a good president but he's old so a great issue for the outcome of the war is who wins the White House next time? If it's Donald Trump, God help us all. Uh, that said, I'm uh, back in Ukraine, which is great. I actually bumped into uh, uh, the brilliant Aidan Aslan. Annoyingly, uh, we had so much fun we forgot to do a video, but I'll be seeing him again soon. And I'll be seeing some old Ukrainian friends pretty soon too. Um, I have a simple message to Vladimir Putin that goes like this. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.